or a tribe or a certain people, as we say. And therefore, you're saying it can't be compared to to Israelite identity or to Israel or to Judaism or Christianity, I guess, in that sense, by extension. A comment that came in on the Somalian famine and the and the racial element that is very clear to some of us to see. One particular comment from a MD at e, uh, M Def Squad Nine. M Def Squad Nine says, "Sorry, brother, you know nothing about Islam. Islam is not a race or a tribe or a certain people. As you keep saying, Israelite is a people, tribe, or nationality or something ethnic. You can't compare that to Islam equally." Our response, and we thought it was important to highlight this and note it, was that we said whether we know Islam or not, as you say, is besides the point that the Islamic and the Arab world in particular seems to be quite silent to the suffering co-religionists who happen to be black Africans, Bantu, Arabs, or non-Middle uh, Eastern types like the so-called North African Arabians. If Islam is not about race, as they tell us, why isn't the Red Crescent or some other Islamic organization or others sending any aid or assistance? And why isn't there some obvious response from them to the suffering of co-religionists, ones who are, who are Islamic? In other words, there's a principle in Islam, which you say we know nothing about, and it's called zakat, that one should do for the, for the ummah. You understand, or the Islamic uh, nation. You understand, aren't the Somalians Islamic? Aren't they Muslims as well? Then why is it only the Christians or the Westerners and the Ethiopians who are responding? And also, we want to say that you are incorrect, very incorrect, that Islam is not about a, a, a certain people, as you say, it's not a race or a tribe, or a certain people, as we say. And therefore, you're saying it can't be compared to to Israelite identity, or to Israel, or to Judaism, or Christianity, I guess, in that sense, by extension. But you're incorrect that Islam um, and a certain people cannot be compared. Ishmael is the progenitor of the so-called Arab tribes and nations, or racial types which was originally black, or of the Ethiopian Empire, or an Ethiopian, Ethiopic, we should say, people. However, with assimilation and um, hundreds, if not thousands, of years of interaction and, and different wars and movings of people, and his, his, history will explain that. Like um, Judaism and Christianity also, because of assimilation, these originally were black. It, too, has suffered whitewashing and perversion. Besides the Quran, it tells us that it itself, the Quran, was revealed in Arabic and the the Lisanica or the language or tongue of Muhammad for the Harab or the Arab people who come from Ishmael. Another point is that Israel is should be spelled correctly, and we notice that a lot of haters basically don't spell Israel correctly. Pay attention to that. They seem to be somewhat dyslexic with the A and the E, or they will remove the E, which is g removing God's name from Israel. Anyway, Israel and Ishmael, they were brothers. They were brothers, same father, different mothers, different um Umas or Umis, but one child grew up fatherless and embittered, and thus we have terrorism, the jihadists, Islamo-fascists of today. So this is our comment to those who say we know nothing about Islam and who would try to claim that Islam is not a race or a tribe or a certain people. If you want, we can get the Qur'an and give it to you in the Quranic Arabic so you can understand it and look it up for yourself. It says in the Quran that the Quran was revealed in the Arabic language for the Arab people who are descended from Ishmael, and Ishmael is the brother of Israel. 
this is one of the problems with Islam and, and, and with what's going on in the world is the ignorance of a lot of the Mohammedan or the Mohammedan and Islamic sympathizers that try to put a dissimilarity between the roots and the true origins of Islam vis-a-vis -vis Ishmael, vis-a-vis -vis Israel, vis-a-vis -vis race and tribe and a certain people, nationality, or ethnicity. In fact, there are 12 types of so-called Arabs vis-a-vis -vis Ishmael because Ishmael was 12 tribes, just like Israel was 12 tribes or 12 families. And if you read Torah, if you read the scripture, you will find out that these 12 tribes would be 12 types of peoples or nations, thus 12 nationality. Therefore, ethnicity is a part of it from its root, from its root. Just some food for, for thought for people who are intellectually and spiritually starving. Starving, starving, starving. Israel is a boy. Not the name they took by the George Child and Latin. Don't move to a Piavi Marcoon. Where is Nagarjun Gurunatmila was in the Charo Avenue.